Hello and welcome to Breathing Design. In this video, we'll be learning how to model an isometric room in Rivet. So to give you a little preview, this is what we're going to be modeling. It's a tiny home office space. So um, in this, you don't have a lot of elements. Uh, you just have this office desk, which I've modeled separately. If you want to learn how to model this desk or any other furniture, you can check out a video on this as well. I'll be linking that in the description box. So along with that, uh, the rest of the elements, as you can see, I have downloaded it from an art source and I've just loaded them into my project. So let's get started. So open a new project. Uh, the first things first, you have to check if your units are set correctly to inches, feet. If you're comfortable with mm, you can go ahead and do that or meters or anything you're comfortable with. I am choosing feet and fractional inches. So, all right. So the first thing is, um, let's model a couple of walls first. So go to wall, pick a five inch wall choose the location line uh, into finished face interior and set the constraints all right so let's take a look at it in 3d view let's hide these select both the levels right click go to hide and view and elements so this way these two elements are hidden if you want to view them or bring them back just go to this bulb right here reveal hidden elements so here you can see all the elements that you've hidden you can select them and click on unhide element all right and let's place a floor go to floor Let's just change the thickness. All right. Oh, so this is what it looks like. So for an isometric view, we'll be removing these two walls. It could be any of the two, two walls. It can either be like this, or you can remove all three walls and just keep one. So for my model, I'll be removing these two. Right click, hide in view, elements. All right, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see, there is a gap over here because the other wall comes over here and as it is hidden and not deleted, this wall is going to stay there. To change that, just click on this dot, right click on it and press disallow join. So that uh, this allows this wall to the adjacent one and then press AL and align it to the end of this. All right. So now it looks good. All right. Uh, let's change the, uh, let's assign materials first. Let's assign the materials for the walls first. Go to edit type. Go to edit material. And let's just pick something white. Make sure you've checked the use render appearance option. Press OK. All right. Uh, we are going to do the same thing, except we're just going to just change the material. Let's assign gypsum wall board. All right, so this is what it looks like initially. Now, um, so let's start 
uh, placing these elements. The first one is the office desk that I've created. And in order to do that, I have to open the family. So here it is. You can also, if you go and watch that video on YouTube that I've uploaded as to how to model this one, uh, you can also find the link to the rivet file so you can easily download it from there. So I'm just going to go ahead, select everything except this flow. So, uh, okay. So uh, how do, how did I uh, unselect this is you have to select everything press shift and press on the items that you don't want to select. So I pressed on the floor and that way only these items are selected. Press uh, control C or you can copy it over here. Let's go back to our model and control V. So that way all of the elements can be copied. Press on finish. Alright, let's position this properly. Select everything and press on the move button. The best part about uh, Rivet is it has all these snap options which gives the model the kind of precision that we need. So that's a great option. So once we've done that, so in this uh, office desk model, I have included the desk which I've modeled it by myself. I've included this chair uh, and this computer de desktop setup. Uh, a table lamp, a coffee cup and saucer, and a phone. So you you also get an access to all of these families individually. So I have them right here. You have the coffee mug, you have the phone, and uh, you can download all of this on my website as well. I'll be linking that in the description box. You can get access to all of these uh, families on my website. So once this is done, so the next element we're going to be adding is this small poster right here that is missing. So in order to do that, let's go here and let's, uh, this is the poster, let's just drag and drop it. It is that easy to uh, place any material. Alright, so this looks good and let's model this um, shelf. So to do that, let's go to architecture, component, model in place, pick a casework and let's name it as chef. Okay, so here we have the top of shelf as 5, 6. So let's just do that. Extrusion, press on set, pick a plane, okay. And just pick a plane as this wall. So against this wall, we'll be modeling the shelf. So um, select the rectangle and just draw a rectangle. Okay, so the top of shelf was basically 3, 6. So let's keep, uh, sorry, 5, 6. So let's keep that 5, 6. And let's just keep this 1.5 inch. Yeah. So that looks good and let's all 
all right so press ok so as you can see this is what it looks like let's reduce the extrusion to 10 inches all right so this looks good um let's assign the material to this let's um, assign some wooden material to this finish all right so this is what it looks like and then um, let's go ahead and model the elements on top of this shell so we have two uh, photo frames and a speaker yeah so we have these uh, photo frames ready so all you have to do is just drag and drop it okay as you can see it's really big but you can always adjust the height the dimensions so let's go ahead and change that Alright, so this is what it looks like. So let's just have one square and a rectangular one. So for this one, we'll change the height to say, for example, one four. basically you can play around with the dimensions they are easily editable and you can add the images here as well and then uh, we have the speaker uh, press space to flip it and place it all right so that is done and then now we have this um, uh, so the next thing is to add this little paint strip that we have so we're going to do that by creating a very tiny extrusion in front of these walls so for that let's go to architecture component model in place let's call it paint strip. okay so let's create an extrusion of say for example point 0 0.05 inches which is really tiny and let's pick a paint color all right so let's set plane to this wall first So the height is basically going to be 7.6 and let's keep the thickness to 2 feet. Alright, press OK. So as you can see, this is a very thin stripe. Alright, so similarly, let's create one over here. Press CS. That is create similar and set a plane to this wall.
Alright. So we're done here. And let's just join these two. Alright, so it looks perfect now. Okay, the last element will be this planter, hanging planter. So for that, let's just drag and drop it. Press on load into the project and pick your project. Position it correctly as per your requirement. So we're good to go. So this is what it looks like. So we are done placing all of the elements. Now in order for our model to look like this, we're going to uh, have to make a couple of changes. All right, so the first thing is, let's go and click on the section box. Press OK. So, and let's, cut this to how much ever we want so that we don't have the extras in our model so this looks perfect so let's just go ahead and hide this one sorry okay uh, so the first thing is let's select the walls and the floor so as you can see as we cut the section over here we can see these lines in the wall and this on the flooring because uh, you know uh, this is the specification given in the uh, material we're going to change that and make it uniform so that it looks the same throughout so select all of those things uh, right click on it go to override graphics in view by element so here you have something called surface pattern. So what it's going to look on the outside, on the surface, and you have something called cut patterns. So over there, um, go to solid fill. You have various options. You can pick whichever one you want. And then go to color and let's pick a gray color. press apply so this is what it looks like and as you can see there are lines over there the black ones so you can change that as well you can make that white if you want see you get the white lines so that's one of the ways or if you don't want them to be seen you can keep them same as the colors that we just did So let's just do that. As you can see, it looks a little weird. So um, select all the three again. Right, okay, sorry. Select these again. Right click on it, override. And then just um, press on add so that this color is added the custom color so we can use the same color later so go over here and pick that color press ok and click on apply as you can see there are no, no lines over here and press ok all right so similarly you can um, add whichever color you want to the cut uh, surfaces you can add pink or white or if you're planning to keep a solid uh, gray background uh, 
you know for this model you can use white fills as well for the cut patterns so that way you can pick whichever color you want to pick and uh, so this is basically in uh, consistent colors in the graphics view you can change that to shaded so that way you have a more realistic view and as, as you can see there are too many lines over here so uh, if you don't want that go to graphic display options and here you can uncheck the show edges option press apply so that way all of the edges are erased it looks more neat now and you can add smooth lines with anti-aliasing so you know that way it looks more sharp and neat and you can uh, if you want shadows just go to shadows and press and cast shadows so this way your shadows will be seen if you don't want them that dark go to lighting and decrease the value all right so that way it is a little bit more subtle So here you can play around with what your model basically looks like. Alright, so you can make it look as colorful and as realistic as you want to. So you do have a lot of options here. Background, you can change the background. Uh, this is only if you keep the realistic view. And you can uh, play around with the lighting. like this you have multiple options to choose from this basically changes your entire look of how your model basically looks like so see it just changes it completely so you have a lot of options to pick from so you can go ahead with whichever you want to every uh, sun setting gives you a different look so you also have uh, a custom option of changing the time and the day and uh, you can go to in session still and you can just pick a time and date and all of that. I'm just going to go ahead with this one and press OK. So this is what it looks like in the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you want more videos like this, please mention it in the comment section and look into it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.